What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Today I have an exciting new mini series to introduce to my channel that should run for as long as it runs and it is going to be called Operation Battle OS or, or Battle OS or something like that. I, I'm still working on the name. Okay, so in this new mini series, I'm going to be pinning operating systems against other operating systems and seeing which ones can perform better as a Plex media server. Now, these are not gonna be used for anything else or running any other applications aside from the default ones that are installed. Also, I'm not gonna do any kind of optimization on any of these operating systems beyond some basic functionality changes uh, in order to get them up and running. And yes, I am still working on the name. I think Battle OS is probably one of my land on, but if you got a better idea, hey, throw it down below. I'd love to hear it. But anyways, enough of that. In today's video, I'm going to be pegging Windows 7 against Ubuntu desktop. Now you might be thinking right now, why Windows 7 against Ubuntu? Well, Windows 7, I think, is just a very common operating system. It's also one of my personal favorites, so I had to start with that. Also, I ran it on a really old server for a very long time, and it was very faithful to me. Then for Ubuntu, I decided to go with Ubuntu Desktop, not because it's the best selection of Linux distributions out there for this sort of test. However, for the common everyday person who maybe has never even touched a Ubuntu build or a Linux build at all, Ubuntu is a great start, especially the desktop version of it. It's a lot of point and clicks and it's very easy to use. Now I've installed Plex on Ubuntu server before. I think I actually even made a tutorial about that, but this isn't about that. This is one simple operating system against another. And I have to say that the results were extremely interesting. That's the best I can put it, extremely interesting. Before I actually jump into the results of my test, let me tell you how I set it up. To get started, I used my main server, Zeus, which is a 20 core, two gigahertz processor with 128 gigs of RAM and about 60 or 68 terabytes of storage or something like that. But in the server, I actually have a dedicated virtual machine SSD specifically for these types of applications. So when I set things up for the two operating systems, I made sure that both systems had the exact same specs. Now the specs that I gave both servers are four cores running at two gigahertz per core. There's no hyper threading, just four basic cores. And then on top of that, I made sure to give each one a little bit over eight gigabytes of RAM. And of course, both of these are gonna be installed on the same VM SSD. Now the video file of choice for today's test, which I will be using for all future tests, was Star Trek The Motion Picture. This video was running at 9.5 megabits per second with AC3 5.1 surround sound. Now this may or may not have been the perfect file. In fact, after I was done, I took a look at the file and I was like, maybe I should have tested one with like true, uh, true HD or DTS or something like that. But I think that in the end, the end results are gonna be the same as long as all of the parameters are always kept the same. So without further ado, here are my results. Starting in the first corner, I started with Windows 7, which gave me four transcoded streams at the same time. Now keep in mind that each transcoded streams from the purpose of my testing were being taken down from its original bit all the way down to two megabits or 720p. So with Windows 7, I was able to get four of those streams running at the exact same time. Now to get a little bit more in the numbers, I decided to add direct streams on top of that to see how many other direct streams the server could add on top of the transcoding streams. And to answer that with the Windows 7 machine, was was almost one. I mean, I almost got one stream, but it just, it, it was not reliable. So if I had to peg this Windows 7 server at, down for a set number, it's gonna be four transcoded streams and that's it. Four streams, that's pretty good. Windows 7 knocked it out of park. That's basically a stream per core, not two bad. However, since this is Battle OS, I had to put it up against Ubuntu. And I bet every single one of you out there are thinking the exact same thing that I was when I started this. But without speculation, let's jump into the results. With Ubuntu desktop build, I was able to get three transcoded streams. That's, that's right, three transcoded streams. I almost got four, but I could just not get the fourth stream to play reliably. Not only would it buffer on the stream that I started, but then it would randomly buffer other streams that I was playing. So three streams, that was it, three transcoded streams. So to see what else it could do, I also, of course, added direct streams to that. With the direct streams, I was able to get three solid direct streams. What's really weird is that I couldn't get it to get a fourth direct stream 
to play at all. I mean, it just it just would not play. I, it didn't buffer anything else. It, it just, it called it quits. It said, no, that's it. I have three transcoded, three direct, you're done. Have a nice day. Okay, so going into this, I'm thinking Ubuntu is gonna whoop Windows 7's ass, hands down. I'm probably gonna get five or six streams from the Ubuntu server and maybe only three or four from Windows 7. This was my prediction but it was terribly wrong. And I gotta be honest, also, I have no idea why. I don't know why Ubuntu, which should be a much uh, smaller operating system resource-wise to run, would not be able to outperform Windows 7. That, that I'm just, I'm almost speechless. I'm, I'm basically speechless. I'm just, I'm, this is me speechless. Since I had absolutely no idea why it was behaving like this against what I predicted, I decided to go back and restart Ubuntu and try the test again. With fail, got the exact same results. So I decided to restart my entire server, which is a pain in the ass and I don't like doing that. Zeus has never shut down, but I did it anyways. But after I restarted, I got Ubuntu back up and running. I ran my test again, same results, exactly. Could not get the fourth uh, direct stream to play. I mean, it's like just, identical results, which is, well, it's mind boggling. I don't even know. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments why Ubuntu desktop cannot outperform Windows 7 in a specific test. I have no idea, but those are the results and that's it. Also with all of my tests, everything that's running on my server normally, that includes my, my print server, the Plex Media server that serves everything else. I mean, any other applications that normally run on my server on a 24 hour basis was shut down for this testing. So the winner of this battle is Windows 7, able to put out four transcoded streams while Ubuntu chugged along with only three. Kind of mind boggling and I don't know why it happens. I'm anxious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Any of you guys are Linux gurus out there, just let me know, maybe I screwed something up, I don't know. But I tested it over and over again and I got the same results. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe below. Also, I ask a favor of everybody out there. Give me some ideas for the Battle of the OS, OSs. Okay, give me something to put together head to head. And just keep in mind, I'm not blowing like $1,200 on a, on a license key, okay? Most of the things I'm gonna install are just gonna be trial bases. And they're gonna be running for like an hour. So I'm not gonna go, you know, buy a $1,200 Windows server license key. So unless they have a free trial, they might have a free trial. I don't know, I've, I've used it like once and I don't even remember how long ago that was. So give me some ideas down below of some different operating systems that you wanna see this uh, uh, Plex get compared to. I will be diving more into uh, server-based operating systems, <clears throat> Ubuntu, but for now, I'm listening to every single suggestion that is posted. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe below, and have a good day. The intergalactic planetary battle of operating structural systems. Extreme battle OS. Intergalactic OS wars. It's called intergalactic OS wars. United Federation of operating system wars. Battle losses, battle OSs, but battle, battle bots, something with battle bots. No, that's stupid. Os versus Os. Huh. Os. First, that's no. Os versus Os. OS versus OS. Operation Survival Battle. Pleximus Battle OS. Pleximus Battle. Pleximus Battle Miss. Plex. This is no. Battle losses. Battle losses. Battle. Battle OSs. Battle Oasis. Battle. Battle. Oh, Oss fight. Oss fight. Aussie fight. Oi. Oi. Yeah, I have no idea. Everything I'm coming up with is stupid. Oh. Okay. I don't, I don't know.